Hi, today we're gonna take a look at how to subtract mixed numbers and fractions, but this time with regrouping. Before getting into it, don't forget that a mixed number, like this one, is the sum of a whole number and a proper fraction. Also, a proper fraction is a fraction where the numerator, the top number, is less than the denominator, the bottom number. One half is a proper fraction, given that the numerator one is less than the denominator two. Nice! Are you ready for the example? In this example, we need to subtract 6 and 1 half minus 3 fourths. We have a mixed number and a fraction. And this time, we are going to work vertically. We we'll start with the mixed number 6 and 1 half, 1 half. Then we have the minus sign and the fraction 3 fourths, 3 fourths. To find the difference, we we'll start by subtracting the fractions 1 half minus 3 fourths. Since these two fractions have different denominators, we need the least common multiple of the denominators or the least common denominator. The denominators are 2 and 4. Come over here, 2 and 4. The first multiples of 2 are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on. The first multiples of 4 are 4 times 1 is 4, then comes 8, then comes 12, then we have 16, 20, and so on. As you can see, the smallest number that we can find on both lists is 4. Therefore, 4 is the least common denominator. And now, for each fraction, we need an equivalent fraction, an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 4. Let's start with 1 half. By what number should we multiply 2 to get 4? By 2, that is correct, because 2 times 2 give us 4. Whatever we do to the bottom, we must do to the top. And 1 times 2 give us 2. Don't forget that 1 half and 2 fourths are equivalent fractions. They represent the same value. Then we have the whole number 6. Then comes the minus sign. And let's continue with the fraction 3 fourths. We need an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 4. Hold on. This fraction already has a denominator of 4, so we don't need to make any changes. We just put the same fraction 3 fourths. Nice. Now, once again, to find the difference, we'll start by subtracting the fractions 2 fourths minus 3 fourths. We have 4 over here, 4 over here. We can put 4 one more time. Yep, these two fractions have the same denominator. And then we subtract the numerators 2 minus 3. Hold on. 2 minus 3. We cannot subtract 3 from 2 because 3 is bigger than 2. The problem in this case is that the second fraction, 3 fourths, is greater than the first one, 2 fourths. We can see the problem over here too. Don't forget that 2 fourths and 1 half are equivalent fractions. They represent the same value. Over here, the second fraction, 3 fourths, is greater than the first one, 1 half. So in this case, we need to regroup. Pay attention, because we're going to write 6 as 5, 5 plus 1. 5 plus 1 is equal to 6, so we don't have any problem over here. As you can see, we have written 1 in the column of the fractions. Now, we are going to rewrite 1 as a fraction, and that fraction will be 4 fourths. Yeah, 4 fourths. Don't forget that we can also see a fraction as a division, and 4 divided by 4 gives us 1. Also, we use the number 4 because these two fractions have a denominator of 4. Perfect! Then the problem becomes really, really easy. Let's continue with 5, 5, next. We're going to add these two fractions with the same denominator. We have 4 on the left, 4 on the right. We can put 4 on this side. Now we add the numerators. And 2 plus 4 give us 6. Perfect. Then comes the minus sign and the fraction 3 fourths. 3 fourths. To find the difference, we'll start by subtracting the fractions. 6 fourths minus 3 fourths. These two fractions have the same denominator, 4 over here, 4 over here, for one more time. And next, we subtract the numerators, 6 minus 3 give us 3. The difference of the fractions is 3 fourths. Finally, we find the difference of the whole numbers. We have 5 minus 0, ah, that gives us 5. The final answer is 5 and 3 fourths. We can put the answer over here too, 5 and 3 fourths, 3 fourths. In that way, 6 and 1 half minus 3 fourths give us 5 and 3 fourths. Nice! That's all for today. If you want to see more examples about subtracting mixed numbers and fractions, check out this playlist. And here you have another video. Have a good one and see you next lesson. Bye!